we want to do an update on how our ants have been doing because we've had lots of progress. Which one should we show them first? Um, let's Tetramorium. Yeah, Tetramorium. Tetramorium, okay, come on over here. So check this out. We've moved them into a new little habitat. We've got, that's actually sugar water in that test tube and they're all in here. They've probably got a good 15 I workers. I see. Can we show, pick it yeah, up we and are. show them? Sam, just a sec, I'm gonna show them. Wait, wait, what are you feeding them? So we're feeding them a little honey and we're trying a few other things. They got a squished bug and a little bit of okara to see if they'll eat that. I know, Sam. Just a sec. Let me help, okay? Okay. So, because they have so many workers, I'm going to put my thumb over it so we can look inside the test tube. Okay. Whoa, look at how many ants there are, Sam. Do you see how many ants there are on the channel, Mom? Not yet. Hold on. Yeah. It is just. Oh, that's. You need a white piece of paper. It's just covering his workers. So there's a lot of workers and a huge pile of brood. And a huge pile it's of okay. eggs. Well, we're okay. Not quite moving. Not so huge pile of eggs. The brood is the eggs and everything. Okay. And they so, filled up the test tube with gravel on their own. They, yeah, they filled up the test tube with gravel on their own. So we, uh, they seem to like doing that. They so like a little or right hole because they're little ants. Okay, so who should we check on next? Campanatus. Okay, our big Campanatus that actually has a worker. We've got in this guy. Dun, dun, sit. So he's got a little honey and he's got a squish bug too. You notice they've nearly filled their test tube. They almost nearly blocked it off. So we do have a worker in there. So let's look real carefully. I don't want to bust that sand. So we've got our big worker. We've got a larva and a couple of eggs. Paper, Will. Where'd the paper go, Will? Everybody back off. It's because there's not enough light. I put it back. There you go. Put it, put the paper over, Will. The paper also helps reflect the light, too. Okay, now back up. Okay, so back up. Some You're shading it a little too much. Okay, so we've got that one big larva there. I would expect to see a cocoon pretty quick. And then there's there's our ants. We've seen them out drinking honey a few times. Um, but so let's go ahead and put them back up now. Is it so cool, Sam? Okay. Are they cool? Let's try and put these back with a minimum. Do the queens grow? The queens do not get any bigger. Okay, so who do we check next? You want to check the Solenopsis? Let's check our fire ant. Oh, yeah. Solenopsis, here we go. You can see her. She's got a couple of larvae. Little slow development for a Solenopsis. Actually, it almost makes me wonder if I identified her wrong. I might have to do some more research on that. Because they're supposed to grow fast, and she's not developing quite as fast as I would have thought. But so she seems to be going along just fine. And Kay. then our last ant that we have to check on. Hurry, we're already at four minutes. Is the uh, Campanatus that we, we had out camping. And despite having clear wing, star, wing scars, we know she's a queen. We have not convinced her to lay any eggs. I suspect we might need to try to move her to something I've heard that sometimes the Campanatus don't like the test tubes. We might need to try and get her into something more appropriate to get her to actually be comfortable enough to get some eggs laid. Okay, is that it? That's it. Can you and say bye? Bye. Last thing to say for retents? Bye. Subscribe. Bye. Okay, no, bye. don't That's subscribe. It. Don't subscribe. Don't, don't, don't.